Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where last episode we finally managed to get things under control and now we can go back to taking back some of this territory. Some of it is broken away, again, as expected at this point, to be honest. We do need to go after the Byzantines eventually. We can just seize all de jure lands, potentially. Mediterranean conquest for counties, yeah, I want to see, do we have any halfway decent claims here? We press all of these. That's, I think, just a de jure, to be honest. I'm looking for, like, kingdom-level claims here. If we have any of those, we'll press it. But I kind of doubt it. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to seize all de jure, de jure lands here for now. That'll be fine. And we are, of course, going to raise up our forces somewhere around here. Raise all men-at-arms. And we'll raise a few levy troops as well. Two direct vassals above our limit. Okay, I'm not sure there's anything major or quick that we can do about that. We could certainly try to merge together some kingdoms like these out over here. If any of these are imprisoned, we can't do it if they're not imprisoned right now. We've got other problems. Here's a guy. Okay, we could definitely revoke this, but he has protected title revocation. So that's not an option. What else do we have? Hmm. Egypt. That would work. Sure. So we'll revoke that. And then we'll grant that over to, I think, Nubia. So we'll grant this over here. Show only the recently acquired titles, including the Sultanate of Egypt. Perfect. Now we would need to move in this duchy over here. Perfect. And how are we doing? Two direct vassals above. Well, that means that there's another one out there somewhere. And... Actually, it's here. So we need to grant this over to this guy. Phenomenal. Now we're one direct vassal above. Is there anywhere else that we can move in? Well, probably is the answer. But we also have to ask the question, how much do we really care about being one vassal? Never mind. This guy is revocable. <laughs> okay. So that all looks good. We do get some tyranny out of it, but that'll go away pretty quick. So we're going to grant that title over to this guy. Phenomenal. Two vassals above. Okay, so that guy had some things he shouldn't in that case. We should have combined those together. Which means there are some titles out here that we should not have. Got it. Any that we can grant to rightful liege? Actually, yes, we can do that to two. So we're going to do exactly that. That looks phenomenal. And that solves the problem. Okay. So we're going to raise up our forces over here. The real question is, how many do we think we need? This guy's got like 100k. We'll call this good enough. And our men-at-arms have arrived. They're not fully here. I think we're waiting on some knights or something. We'll just raise a couple of additional here, and we'll head on in. Cool. Our regent is swinging the scales of power against us. That's very rude. We can't swing it back just yet, but we'll get there. So, this is now done. We're no longer ill. That's very good. The loathsome fiend indeed. And we're going to head on down this direction. So is our regent going to be a problem? Probably. We do have some tyranny, and getting rid of that would be good. That said, this guy does have a lot of opinion of us. But we'll see. We don't need to be too worried about him yet until we're a little older. So we're going to continue to run around over this way. We see the Byzantine army out here. Yeah, absolutely nothing actually came up over here. Exciting. So let's split off a siege force and let's go fight them. So something along the lines of this should do fairly well. We'll take an attrition tick, but that's okay. Nothing too concerning about that. Okay, and up we go. So we're going to defeat the Byzantines out over here fairly easily. Two direct vassals above, but we can grant vassals to rightful liege, and we're going to do exactly that. Phenomenal. Okay, we want to continue to hit war goal areas, so we're going to head down over here. Ticking war score is probably not something that we're going to get this war. And our timing here is a little awkward. They actually gave up on their siege right before it ended, even though we had no option of getting there. That was a mistake on their part. Not that they can win the war, 
it would have just delayed us slightly. So maybe they just wanted to get this over with. I don't know. Maybe. If that's the case, they should just stop taking this territory from the vassal that inevitably splits out from us. <laughs> okay, so that's all good. We're at 92% war score. This will end the war. Never mind, we're at 96. I expected that to be more than 2% war score. I'll be honest. 3.8? Yeah, that's right. 4%. Okay. So that's all good. The war is over. We'll enforce those commands. I want to make sure this guy is the right religion. And he is. He should be working on converting that. In theory. We're one direct vassal above, but we have a de jure that we can grant over. So that looks good. And from there, we're hoping a couple of things. One, this guy doesn't die super quick like our previous bunch of rulers. That would be ideal. Two, we're hoping that we don't have further significant factionalism. I'm guessing we're not going to have significant factionalism, at least for a little while. So next up, I would like to eliminate this guy. So we're going to declare that war. We're going to raise up our forces down over here. Actually, is there anyone near him that we'd like to go after as well? Yes. So we're going to go up through here. We're going to also attack Yalong. So we'll seize all Dijur lands. And we'll also attack here, seizing all Dijur lands. Okay. Now, out over this way, there's not a lot. Okay. Yeah, there's not actually all that much that broke away. That's left, anyway. So that's great. We're going to go after these. Then we'll go after, like, these three. Then we'll probably go after everything in, like, this block here. And then we'll go after these two. And that would be it. Four wars, right? Three? Something like that. Some amount of wars. That's, that's always how this is. We're going to raise up our forces now. And we're going to, once again, raise up probably, like, 100k, right? That'll be more than sufficient. We'll just raise up something like this, and in we go. So our men-at-arms are about 50 days away. That's fine. Now, we are above our domain limit. That will be fixed. We're on martial education right now. This would be fixed by our stewardship wife, in theory, right? But maybe we should get a stewardship focus here. That said, we already changed our education focus. We can't change it now. So it'll have to be done via wife and or via actually going for a stewardship domain, or rather for a stewardship uh, lifestyle focus. That's a potential option we would prefer not to. White Beast, beautiful. That's the kind of thing we want to see here. So this guy is going to have that vassal granted over. Perfect. So yeah, those are the exact sorts of situations we want, is white piece before we even have to waste any time on it. For the time being, we're just going to push our way through here and we'll siege these very, very quickly. We could become just here, plus two stewardship is not bad. Or temperate, which is probably even better than just for us. Learning plus one is irrelevant to us. I like the small health boost. Okay, so we are going to become temperate here. That boosts us up by one domain limit on its own. So that's really, really solid. I like it. We're 21% war score already with this kingdom claim. It is a little slow to move around these territories, though. Where's their army? Up over here? Okay, that's really, really deep on the other side there. We would take a lot of attrition moving up through. So we're probably going to just ignore them, to be honest. Yeah, they're going to take back some of these territories, but we siege way faster than they do, guaranteed. We can not actually grant out a title here. Okay, we're one vassal above at this moment. That might be somebody up here returning to the fold. Yes, it was this guy. Okay, so we're going to grant him on over. Perfect. Actually, her. Sure. That's fine. So that's completely okay. No problem whatsoever. We like it when we don't have to fight to get the territory back, right? That is ideal. So we'll continue to siege, and we're sieging our way towards their capital, and then we'll siege just kind of in a straight line up through there. We're not looking to grab every single castle through here. It is not necessary. 
So for now, this will do. Come on, sieges. Ten days left. Let's go. Making our way to their capital. So we'll, we'll have to siege this castle as well. Otherwise, we'll get attrition moving up over here. Mildly awkward, but it's not the end of the world. We do siege very swiftly. Way faster than they do. In fact, they're just kind of slow sieging. I'm, I'm not sure why. They have siege weapons. We know that they do. They're just not using them. Okay. I guess he just wants to return to the fold, but if that's the case, then he should just surrender. But whatever. We will likely demand his conversion, right? Yeah, orthodox. So that's almost certainly something... Well, I mean, we do need to... We, we have a big problem with our conversion levels out over here. As in, they, they're non-existent. They, they do not exist. If we look... That's the big problem here. <laughs> no doubt about that. We're at 91% war score here, and this siege may end the war, theoretically. One direct vassal above. We can transfer you directly on in. Perfect. No problem whatsoever there. We got a puppy. That's great. This is nose-wise. Perfect. 100% war score. So we'll enforce those demands. And this guy... He's a problem. I'm going to send him a gift. He's going to still be unhappy with us. Indeed. I'm going to demand his conversion. He is likely not going to accept. We're going to wander up over here. What do we got? He would not accept. Okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. We do have an imprisonment CB. However, if we did this, we would have to fight him. For the moment, I'm not concerned about that. I don't want to I don't want to have to do that. It's it's fine. For right now, no major concerns there. Checking out over this direction, there are a couple of locations that we need to take over over here. I would really like to move Crete into another kingdom. Sadly, that's not really a thing at this moment. I want to check some of these guys out over here. Yeah, we can't convert West Francia. Actually, let's send this guy a gift, too. Not that that'll change his opinion. But we'll also demand his conversion, and we'll see what happens with that. He probably won't accept, but I just want to see. We do definitely need to combine together another kingdom here. And what one will it be? We're just looking for somebody who's imprisoned, ideally. I mean, we could just look at our prisoner tab. That would probably be the best way to do it. So we hop into our quarter, courtiers, prisoners, sort by rank, and now we've got, say, this guy. So we can revoke his title. Where is this title? Ah, out over here. Okay. So we'll revoke that title, and that would be granted to, like, Abyssinia here. So that'll be fine. Wonderful. So one direct vassal above now. And there's probably something that we can grant. Yes. There we go. Perfect. So no problem whatsoever there. We are, of course, wandering up over here to grab that de jure. Well, you'll pay the price in this world. He refused to convert. Very rude. Very, very, very rude. So how close are we over here? Well, we're on our way, but it's kind of slow to get around over here, especially in February. Turns out mountains are kind of hard to walk through. I know that's shocking, but that does appear to be the case. We can modify some contracts. Uh, what do we got here? Let's bump up our feudal levies using our hook. And over here, bumping up the feudal levies using our hook. Phenomenal. We do need a new chancellor. That's going to be this guy with his skill 40. It's kind of insane. No, we don't allow our regent to do things. Get out of here, Regent. How old are we, anyway? We are 10. Okay. And the Regent is swinging the scales of power against us. Can we swing them back? Yes, we can. Do it. So for now, that'll do. We do need a new Chancellor again. And that'll be this guy. With his skill 40. That seems like we just got that, but whatever. We're going to enforce our demands here and disband our troops. Okay. 
So that's all of this territory back down here. We now need to go up here, and I honestly think we should declare all of these simultaneously. So we seize du jour lands here, 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 over here as well, and over here. So we seize all of these du jour lands. We'll see if any of them want to surrender. That would be fine if they do. And then we'll come over here and take these two back. And then that will be everything back under our control approximately. We might have some weird border shifts with the Byzantines over here or something, but we'll see. So that'll get us all of that territory back, and that will be absolutely great. What are we at right now? Okay, we are at absolute crown authority. Just wanted to double check that. Let's raise up our rally point here. We're going to raise our men-at-arms and a few levy troops, but we're definitely not going to raise all of our levy troops. That would be massively overkill. He's thinking about walking into us here, but yeah, we have enough levy troops that he definitely doesn't want to do that. We're going to raise somewhere around... Honestly, I think just like 50,000 would be plenty. Okay, this is enough. We're going to head on in, and our men-at-arms will show up at... Hello, pause menu. Our men-at-arms will show up as soon as they arrive here, which is going to be in about 30 days. Cool. So that's all looking good. They're going to do some warring stuff out over here. They're going to, like, siege stuff. Whatever. They can do that if they like. It's not going to be any good. They do not win these wars, and so far our factionalism is looking solid. So that's really, really great. Now, getting all of these back under our control does mean that we're going to be vulnerable to Orthodox fa or Orthodox factionalists again, and that's not necessarily great, but we're going to make our way on up over this way. It'll be fine. As long as we don't have, like, 300 factions all at once again, it'll be okay. I'm not concerned. That's the only way that they're a threat to us, and that only happens when we have a succession, to be honest. That's the only time that that happens. So as long as this kid stays alive for the rest of the game, which is not all that much longer, we're good. This could be our final ruler. As long as he doesn't, you know, die at 14. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't. Fingers crossed on that one. So we're going to hop up over here. We'll see if this ends the war. If not, we'll siege here, here, but it probably will. We'll visit the court when we see fit. Get out of here. We have 79, 77 new court artifacts and two new situations. Hilarious. Okay. What do we get? 59%? Okay. Let's hop down over here. This could theoretically end the war, but I actually kind of doubt that it will. We may have to siege here as well. I don't love it. And it's currently winter. So it's slow moving out this way, but we'll get there. Fantastic. So we've just about got everything put back together here. Very, very close. Yeah, a bunch of artifacts being destroyed are fine. We're going to wander on up over this way, and then we'll probably just make a beeline up here, I think. Siege down through here, and then push down like that, and then maybe come back up and hit the, uh, hit the capital over here. That might be the way to go, as far as pathing goes. So we'll get zoomed on in over this way. We are almost arrived. It is also almost springtime, so that's good. Hmm, we could get a crush on this girl, or we could just realize we're heterosexual. Sure, that works. Perfect. So we've arrived, and this war is over. So we'll enforce those demands. Phenomenal. And we're going to hop on over this direction and siege that tribe. One vassal limit above. That should not be the case here. Ah, this is not de jure. Okay, so we're just going to grant that on over. Perfect. This guy's a Shari. Okay. I was just kind of curious to see if he was the wrong religion because he's imprisoned. But no, they're the right religion, so I'm okay with them holding the title. No. Regent doesn't get to do things. Get out of here, Regent. Speaking of which, can I swing the scales against you? No, not until next year. An armory break-in. Honest is an interesting option here. What I want, though, is anything that will give us additional stewardship. None of these will. 
So we'll take Honest. That's fine. More stewardship is helpful, though. Nosewise is walking. We will be walking our dog for the next 10 years. It's a long walk, to be sure, but we will definitely be doing that. So we'll be arriving up here shortly. It's still May, so we're moving at a decent clip. This guy is attempting to claim our throne, the King of Aquitaine. How very rude. I don't think he's actually going to do it. He's not going to do anything really at all. Our regent is a bit of a problem, but there's not too much we can do about him just yet. So I'd like to siege up here. I'm keeping an eye on these movements. How many troops does this actually have? This is actually their full army. Okay. They're turning around and heading this way, which is remarkable. We're going to go fight them here if we can catch them. That'd be amazing. And it looks like we do catch at least some of this force. Perfect. So that's obviously going to stack wipe. No doubt about that. We just captured his vassal, putting us at 95% here. Captured air. Okay. So if we capture, or rather, siege down this location, that'll end one of these wars. That's great. We're very, very pleased about that. And that'll be this war over. So we'll enforce those demands, and we'll hop down over here. That siege will be over very quickly as well. This should be moved into a kingdom over here. Let's put it into this one. So we will grant this vassal. Perfect. We're still one direct vassal above, apparently. Is that somebody out over here? No. I'm not sure who it is. But it's not an easy switch. So for the time being, we're just going to hit over here. We'll look at it later. One of these guys just white pieced. It was this one. So that should definitely be sorted in here. There we go. We're now two direct vassals above. Yeah, that is interesting. I would not have expected that. Can we grant anybody? No. Okay. Well, this war's over, which means all of these wars are over. And we'll disband our troops. And we're going to come on over here. I want to declare on this fine gentleman. And I want to... Byzantines! Okay. We'll have to fight the Byzantines for this. Very rude. Well, for the time being, we can seize de jure lands over here. And we'll come back to the Byzantines. That's for sure. So for now, we'll fight a couple of very small wars here. It's certainly non-ideal. Okay, we'll raise up our men-at-arms. Hello, pause menu. Up over here, and we'll just head on in. Cool. So the Byzantines stole this area from us. We'll get it back. That'll be next Byzantine War. When is our truce with them up? What is even the Byzantine flag? None of these, I'm sure. Uh, Byzantines, Byzantines, Byzantines. Where are Byzantines? Here we go. So, two more years. Sounds good. We can do a conquest of Galicia, Volhynia. In, in fact, just a lot of things. But Galicia, Volhynia, and Germany are the two major standouts that I'd like to attack soon. And there's 50% war score immediately. I like it. And we'll finish up that siege. Perfect. 100% war score. And we'll enforce those commands. And on down we go. We'll arrive there in five months. Hang on. We just unlocked a war here. Who is this? A vassal under Galicia Volhynia. Okay. Well, we'll eliminate his army here. No doubt about that. And that's maybe going to be enough to, like, white piece him. I don't really care about this war, right? So, 50%. He would accept a white piece. Let's white piece him, and we're just going to move on. We don't gain anything from that war. So, I'm completely fine with getting out of it. And that's great. So, we're two direct vassals above at this moment. And they exist somewhere. The question is, where? We could look through our vassal limit, or rather, our vassal list. That is a potential option. I'll probably do that off camera, if need be. 
But for now, I'm just taking a quick once over here looking for non-king level titles. I'm not immediately seeing any, so they might just be successions and kingdoms splitting up. That is a possibility, for sure. So we're going to hop down here, and as soon as we arrive, pretty much, this is going to go away, right? This is going to be absolutely free, and at that point, we'll have reconquered back everything we can other than, like, the Byzantines here. The Byzantines are a problem, but we'll go after them, and we'll get this back. It is kind of sad that we've been spending so many wars fighting the Byzantines for territory that used to be ours, rather than new territory, but... That's fine. We're going to continue to go after Galicia, Volhynia, Hungary, and just get these areas cleaned up, right? That's the idea over these next 20-ish years. So that'll be fine, and we can definitely get going on that soon. What is this faction? Rude is what this faction is. Okay, so we're probably going to end up having to fight that faction before we do any additional conquest. But we can at least get this done. We can enforce our demands and disband our troops. Okay. So, now we have an independence faction. And the goal behind this is going to be getting as many of them imprisoned as possible. So we'll have to deal with that. But that's a next episode sort of thing. Hopefully after that, we'll be done with our factionalism. But we did have a bit of a breather here, and we were able to get a lot of this territory put back together. So that's great. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy Begar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. That is not the button I'm looking for. Let's try this one. Perfect.